Good morning, another another day in the life in Miami. Uh, we have a dog walk we gotta do. Then I gotta do some meetings, but I'm gonna try to double dip and I'll show you this. I'm gonna try to do the dog walk while doing Uber Eats to see if we can double dip and make money. Um, and then probably break for lunch after my meetings. And um, once again, we're doing yoga tonight as always. Uh, Today is, is Jackie's class. So let me think. I forget what the peak pose is in that class, but you know, she might try something new. I also have to put on a shirt, which I'll actually do right now. And uh, actually, let me get on my bike and I'll get back to you because we gotta go to this dog walk so I can make my meetings on time. All right, so we are headed to the, uh, what, the Skane Island, I think, or Brickell Bay Island. Uh, to go walk this dog. Actually, let me know how the sound sounds like cuz uh, last night at the uh, Comedy show I lost the microphone cover to the to the camera So I don't know if you're gonna hear a lot of wind and stuff like that uh, But the plan is what I wanted to show you guys is the gig economy double dip So what you do is you sign up for a dog walk me personally. I use wag I'll put my uh, reference my referral down below and uh, then with uh, then with Wag, I use uh, Uber Eats, switch that joint to a walker, and so I'll be walking a dog and walking doing Uber Eats at the same time. We call that double dipping, doing two gig economy things at once. Uh, so, but I also have meetings this morning, so I gotta do this quickly because it's an hour-long walk. You get paid, I think, like $19 plus tip which I think in Miami is pretty good. Usually in DC, doing gig economy stuff, the minimum you're making is like 20, maybe 25 an hour. But if you hit like, like 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., you, you know, you can clock in like 35, 40 an hour. During the pandemic, it was like 50 to 65 an hour. Uh, this dog I've actually walked before. It's really, really cute dog. A small dog, very great owner, very easy to walk. I'm wearing all uh, the long sleeves because you know the sun in the summer. You're gonna be out in the sun. Sunscreen won't do it. You need to straight up cover yourself up. It's Miami we're talking about, okay? And once again, like every place in Miami, you gotta cross a goddamn bridge to get there. Okay, we gotta also find what's the name of this island. I'm pretty sure it's Brickle, Brickle Island now that I think about it. Miami people are about to roast me for this. But I should know, I've been here long enough to know the name of this place. But you really would just never go here unless you're doing an Uber Eats or walking a dog or something. I know a lot of people like run around this island. There's like a cool outside thing, but that's about it. Mm. Now we're about to do something that I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do, but I, al I always do it anyways. Uh, mainly, I mean, normally I wouldn't do something like this, but once you move to Miami, you stop giving a damn about stuff. So you start doing things you're not supposed to do. If you are from up north like me, you're gonna lose a part of your soul moving here. All that common human decency and stuff. I really don't think you're allowed to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Bam! Lock that bike up on here. Okay, we are out here with Penny Lane. Say hi, baby. All right, we is going to show you the Hugs by Ha double dip where we go on Uber Eats and we try to walk a dog and deliver food. Now that is a G move. If you guys do this at home too, let me know. Now what we got to do first is we got to get to the main island, okay? So, oh wait, now, Brickle Key. This is called Brickle Key. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Well, one thing I forgot to calculate is that uh, it is like 8.30 in the morning. So who really is going to be ordering Uber Eats right now? I guess maybe, oh, come on, Penny. 
I guess maybe we could try to find some people who are going to get a coffee so we can walk by the Starbucks or something. Or the Pier Roast. That's some good coffee. You want good coffee in Miami? You hit the Pier Roast. Ooh, look how beautiful Miami can be sometimes. Even though it's hot, it's really hot, but sometimes it just looks good as fuck. Like, really. Oh, there we go. He's doing it, finally. Now, if I was from Miami, I wouldn't pick it up. But since I'm not from Miami, I am. So let's go pick up some poop. Hey, poop in my hand. Poop in my hand. It's also summers in Miami, so I think summers might be dead. The other thing is there might just be so many delivery people that it's impossible to get a delivery job over the summer. We is not getting no deliveries, none whatsoever. All right, check it out. We are in front of Puerto Vida in Brickell, and you can see the people are posted up trying to get deliveries. One, two, three. This is where you get the high tipping deliveries too. This is why people post up here. And it's the morning, so you're getting breakfast. You're getting breakfast orders, but they out here. You know? Ooh, here we go. That's a delivery right here at the Latin Cafe. As you can see, hopefully, hopefully it'll be one, you know? But maybe not, you know? Still working on it, taking a while, but let's walk over the Latin Cafe. Should be 15 minutes for $4, which equates to $16 an hour, which is less than minimum wage in DC. DC minimum wage is 17 an hour. And then, and stuff so you're independent contracts you, oh look at that another driver matched and that is that is the uber eats hustle you are competing against look at this look at this right here look at this everybody is posted up trying to make get some deliveries in you know what i think i think we got to go to pure roast we is here we got about 15 minutes to chill around this area to see if we'll get an uber eats Honestly, I highly doubt it, but there's a chance. There is a chance. We have got a delivery right up here, Roast. Okay, so with Kareem, we have four items. Americano, a croissant de manichilla, and a croissant de chocolate. Oh, and a chocolate marble cake. Those four items. So we're gonna grab that, walk across the bridge, deliver it, then start walking back, Penny Lane back home. And that is the Hugs by Ha Double Dip. The thing is offering $4. This thing is $19, so you're, you're still making, what, $23 an hour? I don't know, it's not that good. Uh, hold up one second. Hey. Buenas. Hello. You got the Kareem jump, please? Ooh. Kareem. Okay. okay, awesome. And now, as you do the confirm pickup, Thank complete you. pickup, and then we walk to Pita D. Where is that? I usually get Google. Okay. No, but it's across the bridge, and the bridge, as you can see, is probably going up right now. Oh, that's like a 15 minute wait. Bye. Come on, let's go. Once again, we is crossing a bridge, Miami. Now, what I tell you about bridges, we got a whole lot of them, okay? So, keep that in mind. We are crossing the bridge back to essentially my house. Uh, there's three apartments here. It's not my apartment, but it's uh, the building next to it, which uh, normally would be great because I can just drop this food off and go home and do what it do, but I gotta walk all the way back to Brickle Key to drop off Penny Lane and pick up my bike. So, you know, you can't win them all, but in other times, if I was just doing an Uber Eats, you know, this would try, probably be my last order and just do it and then chill at home. Gracias, Oof, that was very difficult, but we just waited a good like six, seven minutes to go to the 1602. It is not, it is not gonna look pretty, it is going to, 
do an extra long walk just to get, oh, sorry, just to get Penny Lane back home. Wow, this is awful. It takes me all of eight minutes to deliver this. So we're talking about a 15 minute walk plus eight minute wait. That is absurd. And what, so that makes it what, a 20, 22, 23 minute delivery for $4? What is that, $8 an hour? No, okay, take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Okay, now we have 11 minutes to get back. Right, it is, the deed is done, and now we have 11 minutes to get back, which is gonna be impossible, because Brickell Key is probably like 20 minutes away walking from here. So they're gonna get a good nine extra minutes. Minutes from me. Buenas. Yeah. Yep. So we'll get an extra nine minutes, but really that's that's just the luck of the draw, just to show you guys how to do the double dip. Looks like we have about four minutes to get back to Brickle Key, which is gonna be impossible. But I did show you that you can do an Uber Eats while doing a dog walk. Whatever, you know, it's a longer dog walk, maybe they'll tip more. Maybe. And we finally made it back. Penny Lane pooped once, peed once, which is pretty rare for a dog. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's so hot they gotta absorb all that water, you know, can't pee it out. But we're about to drop off Penny Lane, then we're gonna bike to the WeWork, and I will give you some updates. Okay, so we finally made, the, we finally made it to the WeWork, and uh, since we did the dog walk this morning, I skipped uh, breakfast. Right, and if I if I skip breakfast, I figure I might as well just do some intermittent fasting. So I ate last night, uh, I think at like around 10. So that means intermittent fasting will start at two. My next meal will be at two. Okay, so I'm just gonna go all, all day without eating just water, if anything. Uh, maybe some gum, maybe not. And then we're just gonna intermittent fast and then I'll have my first meal at around 2 p.m. Right? Look up the benefits of intermittent fasting. I hear it's good stuff. Oh, and let me tell you, what kind of water is this? We work water. You know how I love that stuff. Okay, so about to hit these meetings. I will catch up with you guys in a sec. Intermittent fasting is a go. Once I eat, I have a eight hour window where I can eat whatever the F I want. And that's what it's gonna be. And that's how the intermittent fasting works. I know, who would have thunk it? There is a just salad right here. Thank you, sir. This place is popular. Oh, we might have to try the Thai crunch salad with the Tokyo superfood. Non-Asian people making Asian things, that's what we're going for. And there she is. Probably on the word call, that's why she waited. Man, this place is packed. See, Sweet Green should have came into Brickle sooner, but Just Salad came. And you know what? If Just Salad has an app, I'm gonna download the app and try to get some points. There's some Just Salad bowls. This is the barbecue chicken, and this is the tandoori fire, aka the tandoori chicken. Here's the trick. Always get light sauce. The dressing always needs to be light, because they always put too much dressing, so you always have to say light. Oh my God, it is good. See, a nice healthy meal to break your fast. And then I have eight hours where I can eat whatever the hell I want. And then back to intermittent fasting.
honestly, you know what the verdict is? I think Sweet Green got it better. I think Sweet Green got it better. What makes Sweet Green better? Maybe it's probably the dressing, right? Well, maybe it's just the type of salad I got. We, you need to have, what you have to do is you have to do the um, controlled variable, right? We have to get a buffalo chicken here and a buffalo chicken at Sweet Green. Then you can tell which one's better. But, I don't know if it's the bowl or the place. Here's the situation. I got yoga tonight and I'm most likely gonna do comedy again. So, I gotta make sure the missus is happy. So we're gonna butterfly some chicken breasts for her and just grill it on a pan so she's got something to eat when she gets home. Now. Most people are intimidated by chicken breast because it's so uh, it's so big, right? And then it like you know this stuff ends up dry. But I found if you just butterfly it, cut that joint in half, you essentially have two smaller pieces, and that's just like so much easier to grill and keep like not dry. You know what I mean? Just like this. And honestly, you just like pat it down to get rid of that moisture. Pat it down, get rid of that moisture, and then um, it's actually really simple. You just put salt, pepper, olive oil, and you got some good chicken. Really simple to make, easy. Some pink Himalayan sea salt on both sides. Bop, 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 bop. Now the issue I have with black pepper on chicken is that it like shows marks, you know? The Chinese use white pepper and that's just, uh, I don't know, that's just better because then you don't see these black marks on your chicken. Once you do this, you just wait like, you know, three, five minutes, which is like golden brown, then you flip it, and then you're done. It's that goddamn easy. And then Lizzie's happy. As long as your girl isn't hungry, she's gonna be happy. Just keep them fed, you know? and then you want a nice golden brown, that's it. That's how easy it is to make chicken breast. But the chick is you got a butterfly, you gotta cut it in half so it's easier, easier. That's how you keep your girl happy. Then you can do all the yoga and stand up comedy you want at night. And now we gotta do the yoga checklist. Okay, one, you gotta have a hand towel always. Uh, it's hot yoga, so you gotta shower afterwards. So here's your regular towel. Boom. Then you have your yoga mat. Me, myself, I prefer jade yoga. You need your pants, cause you're doing stand-up comedy afterwards. Gotta do that in pants. No shorts. All right, I'm from the school where you can't wear shorts for stand-up comedy. But once again, in Miami they do. And then you need some shorts. Some athletic shorts for yoga. Let me see. Bam. And that's everything you need. You're complete. I'm about to go to yoga and then do stand-up comedy kit. In the Uber Eats bag because I don't have a yoga mat bag. So this is the only bag big enough to carry it all. We will be cutting it close. We might not get a good spot. What you don't want, you never want a spot in the back. In fact, I'm gonna text Sarah. She's my Venezuelan yoga buddy. I'm gonna text her right now and be like, yo, if you get there before me to save me a spot because it's not looking good. I might be late, but I just gotta get that WeWork water. Ah! Yeah, so we're doing cold water. Normally I do hot, but I tried cold water the other day with hot yoga and the cold water really was hitting. <laughs> but you know, I heard of real yoga, you're not supposed to drink water in between. You're just supposed to let your heat build and only drink water afterwards. Maybe I'll get to that level one day. We made it to, we made it to yoga and on time. Mainly because I'm a fast walker. And once again, it's impossible to find this place unless you've already been there before. Remember, it's on MR. If for some reason you're watching this video and you live in Miami and want to go to Corpau and you've never seen it, it's on MR next to the Equinox. So we just got out of Corpau Yoga. Uh, Jackie's class killed it, knocked it out myself. Now we're going to head to Dom's. 
We're gonna try to get on and do some comedy. My man, comedian JJ, young Netflix, shout out. That man is a funny dude and he's always looking out for the homie. So we're gonna go out there and um, try to do some more stand up. And that'll be a Tuesday in Miami. And here we go. And we is at Dom's. Let's see. What's up? What's up? Yeah. But that is a wrap. We just did the comedy on Tuesday at Dom's. Courtesy of Miami Comedy. And we is going to call it a night. Thank you as usual. Like down below. I'll see you next time.